Hello, happy family. If you haven't tried my perfect crispy fried yam before, in fact, you are missing out. To this recipe, I want to show you how to make the best roadside fried yam. Yes, in fact, this recipe will take you to a different level and I want you to try this for your lunch or for your dinner. In fact, please hurry up and grab your chair and come to the kitchen and let's start cooking. All right, friends, to get started, I just added water in the bowl and I'm going to add my pink salt. I had a lot of questions about what kind of salt that I use. I use this pink salt because it is so healthy for you comparing to the white one. So after you add your salt, go ahead and mix it until it dissolves in the water. Next, I have here my fresh jam. And unfortunately today, I got a really good yam, so I was so happy. So what you're going to do is that, make sure that you peel all the skin off because since you are making perfect fried yam you have to make sure that you get the best yam wherever you are there is this yam called puna it is really amazing with my it was a little bit close but it wasn't really that kind of yam that you know you can usually get from Ghana or even in Nigeria I think Nigeria sells yams also really good ones as well so next we're going to wash our yam Make sure that it is very nice and well cleaned because if not, you're going to get a little bit bites of the dirt and we don't want that. So after you wash your yam very nice and clean, go ahead and cut them in whichever shape that you want. You know, I'm trying to cut them like how they usually do in Ghana. So I'm cutting into two different methods, you know. This is the one that I, I usually do and this is how they usually cut it in Ghana, especially those who are selling on the road side. Yes, yeah, so after we cut our yam to this nicely washed, so go ahead and soak it in the salted water. So that way we will get the salt taste, you know, we have to, you know, make sure that the yam tastes right. And let's just soak in there, leave it about 15 minutes and then let's go ahead and get our oil on the stove. So you know how much I really love coconut oil and that is what I'm using. So I'm adding in here fried fish, aka in chinam. You know, in typical um, Ghanaian roadside fried yam, they usually fry the fish first, you know, before they fry the yam. So that way it come out so crispy. And you know, I tried this trick and in fact it really helped, you know, so just try this. If you haven't tried this before, go ahead and try it and then leave me some comments down there below. Or if you do this kind of business, you know, on, on the side, just let me know how you fried your yam. Whatever you add into your oil, you know, to get that crispy and beautiful fried yam, just leave me a comment down there below. So gradually, go ahead and stir this yam and we are cooking this in a medium heat. Yeah, so you have to really pay attention to your heat and also, you know, make sure that you don't burn your yam. So as you can tell, everything looks so nice. My house is smelling really amazing. I wish you were here to try this recipe. So soon, this yam is going to be ready. It doesn't take too much time at all. And your lunch or dinner will be just ready. Yeah, as you can tell, everything looks so nice. So I ended up adding taro. That is cocoa in there. Because I forgot that I have that, you know, in my freezer. I'll just throw it in there with the yam so if you're wondering what the pink stuff was it is taro that is Ghana cuckoo yes and I just added it in there so go ahead and dish everything out as you can tell it looks so crispy beautiful and tasty so I'm adding in here cooked beans and also I have my hot pepper on the side usually that's what we eat with and also you cannot forget your shito and I have a little bit of fried fish as well. And just like that, just add your onion or, you know, any side of your choice. You can even add salad on the side. You know, it's just up to you. Just like that, your perfect fried yam is ready. And, you know, oh la la, lunch is just ready for you and your family. Just go ahead and enjoy the deliciousness of our Bapes recipes. I hope you learned something today and I know you're going to apply it to your life. This is how I prepare my authentic Ghanaian roadside fried yam alongside with fried fish and other great stuff. So thank you so much. If you really enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and share among your friends as well. So thank you so much. Until I see you again, stay safe, stay joyful and I have a blessed day.
拜拜。